in Southern Vermont, but could the Cosmos bark back at the Terriers? Highlights from Bellows Falls versus Springfield coming up in just a little bit. But first, welcome in to week one of the Friday Football Frenzy. I'm Jack Fitzsimmons. It has been eight and a half months since CVU, Mount Anthony, and Windsor took home state titles on the turf at Rutland. But with a new season comes new opportunity. 31 teams from around the state of Vermont, all dreaming of lifting a trophy above their heads come November. So why not start on that same Rutland turf tonight with a pair of teams that know a thing or two about state titles. Rutland playing host to the Essex Hornets. Hosts had the opening kickoff return for a touchdown called back. Their drive sputters and Essex takes advantage. Carter Crete, nice pitch and catch with Brady Botello, 46 yards on that touchdown connection. Hornets in front, 7-0. But Rutland would respond with a long drive of their own. Play action, Noah Brudamasso rolling to his left. He'll hit Ryan Bulger. This game is even at 7 apiece. Rutland on the move again in the second. Brutomesso, nice little pump fake to throw off the safety. He will pick out Bulger for another big gainer and that would set up this play. Brutomesso, he's going to take the snap. He will take his time and he's going to keep it. Sneak it across the goal line, giving RHS its first lead of the game. However, Essex had the better of this one the rest of the way. Crete with four total touchdowns on the day. Essex goes on to win it 30-26. to The Hornets with a big season opening win. Essex will visit the Seawolves next week, while Rutland will head to New Hampshire to take on Concord. Over in Brattleboro, the New Look Bears back in Division One. They hosted new head coach Jed Malcolm's Middlebury Tigers. We picked this one up in the second half. Mid in front, 14-6. Jackson Gillette taking the pitch. He will show off the wheels. Jets to the sidelines. Tiptoes to stay in bounds, and he will extend it to take that, extend that Tiger lead. Later on, Middlebury looking to put this one away. Jacob Kemp, great throw across the body, and Gillette is going to go up and haul it in. Mid cruising at this point. The defense would stop some bear momentum coming up here in the fourth quarter. Quarter. Carter Paquette zooming in for the sack. He forces the fumble as well. Mid would recover that, and that would pretty much do it. The Jed Malcolm era starts off with a win. The Tigers take this one 34 to 6. Mid will get Burr and Burton at home next Friday, while the Bears of Brattleboro will host MMU. Up at St. Albans, it's the Marlowe Bowl. BFA playing host to MMU offenses. It took a little while to get going in this one, but how about this play from the Bob White? Seneca DeRocher by time. Rolling to his right, he will heave it downfield. Parker Dodolent hauling it in. Little toe tap on the sideline. That's a big first down. Unfortunately for BFA, this is how the drive would end. Kyle Taft jumping the route, picks off DeRocher in the end zone, and we are going the other way. Now, we do eventually get some points before the break. Rafferty, comma, Daniel gets in for six, putting the Bob Bob White's in front, 6-0. This so one nip and tuck most of the way, but it would belong to the Bob Whites. Cougars running the flea flicker here. Jack Lorenzini chucking one downfield, but DeRocher, of all people, he gets up. He hauls it in for the interception. BFA edging out the 12-8 win. The Bob Whites start 1-0. BFA will host CVU next Saturday night, while the Cougars head down south to face Brattleboro. And one more D1 versus D2 matchup tonight. The Burlington South Burlington Seawolves hosting North Country. And the Seawolves would waste no time in this one. Jackson Bernier getting in the backfield forces the strip. Brennan Crete picking it up. That is, my friends, what we like to call a scoop and score. 6 nothing in favor of the Wolves. But back come the Falcons. Long drive ends with this. Cooper Wheeler falling over the goal line. This game even at six apiece after that one. Back in fourth we go. The Seawolves here with the turn. Ahmed Diawara. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to take this one himself. Burlington South, Burlington QB avoiding a couple would-be tacklers, spinning, staying up till he stumbles on in for Pater. However, every time the Seawolves struck, the Falcons had the answer. Hayden Boyvin open on the flats here. He will take it in. This one delayed for a while after a brutal injury to a Burlington South Burlington player. But North Country goes on to win it by the final of 34-22. The Seawolves host Essex next week, while NCU takes on rival Linden in the Barrel Bowl. One game between Vermont and New York teams this evening as well. Mount Anthony making the jump back to D1 of Vermont High School football, but they could not get the better of the Mariah Vikings. Mariah coming up with the 20-13 to victory. Patriots will come back into state next week as they make the trip to Fairhaven.